the hatch is so tiny that you could blink and miss it and given that it's barely big enough for one person to squeeze through you would guess it led to sewers or pipes if you noticed it at all but on the other side of this inconspicuous metal door is a harrowing relic of a bloody conflict fought more than 40 years ago in the Kuchi area on the outskirts of Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam a strange attraction draws tourists away from the lure of the big city first open to the public after the fall of what was then Saigon in 1975 the Kuchi tunnels stretch for more than 150 miles beneath the city they certainly hold a unique fascination Access through tiny metal hatches set in the ground the tunnels draw hundreds of thousands of visitors every year Moreover those who make the journey never forget it with visitors praising it online as being mind-blowing fascinating and an amazing experience But just what are these mysterious passageways hidden beneath the ground? In the second half of the 1940s and the first half of the 1950s Vietnam was in the grips of the first Indochina war and in order to evade the French army the opposing communist troops began excavating tunnels under South Vietnam Then in the early 1960s the United States began to commit military involvement in Vietnam While America supported the South Vietnamese government in maintaining a non-communist jurisdiction The National Liberation Front also known as the Viet Cong sought unification with communist North Vietnam Viet Cong and North Vietnamese soldiers soon realized the strategic potential of the tunnels and began to expand the network Often working by hand they carved out an extensive system underneath Saigon stretching right across to the border with Cambodia Subsequently these tunnels would go on to play a vital role in the Vietnam War Indeed as US forces unleashed a rain of bombs down on the Viet Cong controlled Cu Chi district the insurgent troops hid safely underground during the war the tunnels were home to thousands of Viet Cong troops and their supporters a lot of them rural people from lower income classes Many lived underground on what was effectively a permanent basis Daylight hours would be spent working and resting in the subterranean passageways while some ventured out under cover of darkness to look after their farms and scavenge what resources they could find Sometimes however the bombs would keep the troops in the tunnels for days on end but the network of tunnels was not merely a place to hide and travel about unseen Indeed the Warren contained entire underground communities with social spaces Munitions factories schools hospitals and even music halls and theaters for entertainment Sometimes couples were even married beneath the ground Life underground however was tough Poisonous creatures scuttled around the ground while supplies of water food and air were all scarce Meanwhile sickness was rife with around half of the inhabitants suffering from malaria In spite of such tough conditions though the Kuchi tunnels became a significant Viet Cong stronghold and a stubborn problem for US troops So in 1966 in tandem with Australian forces the Americans launched operation crimp a large-scale offensive on the Viet Cong forces operating in Kuchi district Despite heavily bombing and searching the area. However, they were unable to find any evidence of Viet Cong activity All the insurgents had disappeared into the tunnels and any enemy forces hoping to follow them were met with booby traps And while US troops attempted to assail the tunnels with grenades and gas the subterranean structures strategic design kept the inhabitants safe within in fact the existence of the tunnels played a huge role in the Viet Cong's ability to prolong the war the network enabled them to move troops between locations and it served as a stronghold during the pivotal Tet Offensive against Saigon in 1968 the push which kick-started the US withdrawal from South Vietnam Over time then the American and Australian forces began to truly realize the scale and significance of the tunnels So they started training specialists known as tunnel rats to negotiate the network each one equipped with little more than a knife a gun and a flashlight However, this highly dangerous approach had limited success and many of the tunnel rats were killed Finally in 1969 US forces began using b-52s to carpet bomb the area around Kuchi Yet although they succeeded in destroying large sections of the tunnels the operation had little overall significance By then moreover America was already withdrawing from the war and these subterranean structures had fulfilled their goal the Vietnam War finally ended when North Vietnamese and Viet Cong forces captured Saigon on April 30, 1975. 
Subsequently, as the country began to process the reunification, the Vietnamese government decided to preserve the Kuchi tunnels as a memorial to the war. Today, the tunnels are proving to be a popular destination for tourists visiting southern Vietnam. They are accessible in two areas, Ben Din, an artificially large entrance made with western visitors in mind, and Ben Duoc, where you can still enter the tunnels through the original claustrophobia-inducing shafts. Below ground, tourists can see examples of the booby traps used by the Viet Cong forces to keep intruders out of the tunnels, visit meeting rooms where significant maneuvers were planned, and even sample a meal similar to that which fighters living underground would have consumed. Above ground, meanwhile, exotic animals, souvenir stores, and shooting ranges all add to the tourist attraction feel. So, with its busloads of foreign visitors, Kuchi District today is a world away from the battle-scarred, desperate landscape that saw three decades of bloody conflict. But this fascinating relic remains to remind us of the harrowing realities of war, as well as the tenacity of the soldiers who fought there.